Uh oh, is he finna do the kick? We've never seen him do that in the game. But I like it. <laughs> His body looks too bulky to doing that. Dude, Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here with my lovely wife, Johnny Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we ain't ever seen. And if you read by the title, it's time to get into the King of Iron Fist Tournament, Tekken, Tekken, Tekken. Bloodline reaction, y'all. Last time we left off, what, you like my, my uh, narrator that voice? That was something right there. Oh, hold on, here you go. Chicken. Bruh, I used to think that was the funniest thing when I was a kid. I used to think that shit was so hilarious, and then actually seeing that the chicken eggs and the hearing. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. yeah I my mom used to that. love playing that game, and I would. My mom used to be a gamer. Oh yeah. I don't know what happened, but she did. Yeah, y'all remember the uh, life? Y'all remember taking uh, what was it taking six, and they had the damn dark train missions. How my man Kazuya would drop over there, he'd be like. Talking about how I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kill you and some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, martial law. He'd be like, <laughs> well. but uh, yeah, guys. Anyways, all the references aside, even though I like the Tekken Two announcer, continue. <laughs> you know, I'm, good morning. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, last time we left off, we got a chance to see an epic montage, which was like 20 minutes worth of montage the on montage. Episode, basically. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jen train. Yeah, man. Something we've always been wanting to see since day one Trying when they to get said good, it. Man. Trying to get good. Right. Well, also being like mentored by his grandpa. You know, his grandpa showing him the business side of things. Hey, man. Don't sit your ass down. Sit up in a sitting stance. Kind of like how the inmates tell they uh bitches to do. Up in men's prisons and stuff, but I um, didn't even know you knew nothing about that because I ain't know nothing about that. <laughs> you see that shit up on like um, I forgot like uh, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was pretty good. You know, he he met his grandfather, who although is a jerk, had reasons for doing what he did. Yeah. Which I kind of always felt like Heihachi was a jerk who had his reasons. I always felt like his dad was worse. I don't know. I don't think Jim Pachi was worse because based no, no, off. No, 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 no. Kazuya. Oh, Kazuya? Kazuya well, Kazuya has a reason to be a fucking bastard. Look how his dad treated him. He's probably like bitter because exactly. Heihachi treated Gene better. It's like. But don't all grandparents do that? Every time I would always, you know, hear my uh, dad or parents or whatever say, if I had to do that, such and such and such and such. Or they'll be, like, they'll be like, you got such a soft spot for the grandkids. Don't they all? Yeah. Right, yeah. It's like, uh, it, it was brutal because every time Jin would step out of the ring, Heiachi would back, electric wind backhand him and shit like that. And like, I, I do kind of wish they would have actually explained more in detail of where the electric wind techniques come from. Like, how do they generate electricity? Is that just something a I part of their aura? I just think that's just something that just nobody, it just don't even need to be explained. It just is. I, that's yeah. how I feel about it. But I don't know. Maybe there is an explanation of some logic of some yeah. sort. Yeah. But shout out to this movie just being, or this show being super meta and self-aware of all the stuff that it's doing. Like when Gene was playing this little Game Boy and you can hear my nigga Jack rock. Like whooping his mom's ass, which is so weird to hear my girl screaming in the background when she died up in the game. That was cool, man. But uh, let's go ahead and see what we talking about now, because Gene, now that his uh, fighting and training is complete, he's going to go in the world and whoop some ass, Iron Fist style. So let's go ahead and do this, man. This is going to be episode three, y'all. Welcome to Peru, Mr. Kazama. Maybe I should have been training at a higher altitude. You'll have two days to acclimate before the tournament. You might need to try to holler at Shorty right there. This She's kind of filling out that business suit. <laughs> Where's Hinachi? Mr. Mishima is making preparations for the tournament. Remember, do not advertise you're related to Mr. Mishima, let alone Kazuya Mishima. Many of those competing in the tournament tried their best to kill Kazuya. Right. <laughs> okay. I've got to ride all the way to the tournament with this jerk. Hey, let's go. Oh, all right. Kazama. <laughs> we can do this right here. Right. It can go down anywhere, bro. Please meet Jin Kazama. Okay, Julia and Paul. Up in her Tekken 7 outfit. 
What's up? Nina got on one of the classics. Right? Hey, tough guys. Save it for the tournament. <laughs> Maybe you'll finally get that rematch. Wait, you two are friends? No! <laughs> Absolutely. Right. The fuck? Hey, watch his face on the side. This nigga got the ego out I'm of this vain. world, boy. And you got the nerve to not be attractive and be vain, too. Right. And again, young Hey Hachi wasn't bad looking. Nigga got fucking two spikes coming out the side of his head looking like Neo hey, Cortex, that's man. That's probably what drew the women to him, man. He was. Hey! <laughs> that looked like Tekken 7 right there, though. But that's probably from Tekken 2, if I'm not mistaken. Have you uh, see that one before? Oh, that fight is sick. It's from the second king of Iron Fist. Oh, yeah. Who do you know? Because <laughs> Heihachi is still standing. I heard the first fight didn't go so well for him. Yeah. I heard there was video at the end of the fight, but the... The Mishima Financial Group had it taken down. Oh, nigga, I threw off a fucking mountain. Yeah. That's why. My nigga, Leroy Jenkins. I know Jenkins ain't his last name, y'all. Don't is get it? butt hurt. I forgot. Damn. Well, Jenkins it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Iron Fist Arena. Oh, wow. This nigga watching y'all already. No, he ain't watch. What's up with the shadows? Why do they have these triangles? That triangle on top of their head. This is where it all takes place. Mm -hmm. If Ogre indeed feeds on the energy of the fighting spirit, he will not be able to resist this tournament. There's something I need to know. You need to my dad. <laughs> What happened to my father after the last tournament? Your mind is lost in thoughts of the past, when you should be focused only on the present. Only on this tournament. Mm. Uh -uh. Hey! Okay. Steve! I was hoping to see him. Okay, something's not right here, y'all. I guess they just gonna cameo everybody up in this shit. Like, fuck it. It's like, take it three or not. We gonna just put them in there. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Esteemed masters of the fighting arts and, most importantly, our contenders. Oh! <laughs> Got people from the Dubai, them high rollers. Tournament. Our generous host and festival sponsor... Mr. They said you're gonna feel this generous host. Right? Is he gonna come out in a giant man thong like he does in Tekken 4? No. <laughs> no, I would lose all respect for this version of this character if he did that. That's how you do it, man. When you the goat. We celebrate your hard work, skill, and dedication. Tomorrow, you Tomorrow, you what? <laughs> okay, got the festivities. A few words, even at his own party. Hmm. Hey, she got some monster abs, don't she? Oh, she got them rock hard abs. Don't be out too late. Got a fight tomorrow. That is not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Boy, you about to get this work. That's somebody I can accept in this. Well, it is. You've been personally training with Heihachi. That you're his new golden boy. The name's Kazama. Jin Kazama. And yeah, I trained with Mr. Mishima. So what? Everything and everyone around that guy goes rotten. You know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta get your parry game up, boy! 
love to teach one of Heihachi's goons a lesson. He said to turn the stars now. I will see you in the ring. Yeah, walk away. Golden boy. <laughs> Man, this Leroy is very cocky with it. Boy, the next time I see a triangle on somebody's head. <laughs> I know, they should have worked that on the shade. triangle shading shade is problem, not good. Mr. Mishima. It's like PlayStation 1 Shadow. Make sure that fighter is Jin's first match. I knew he was going to be tomorrow. I mean, you joining the Mishima I see you got away with women, too. <gasps> what, smooth? Easy, Tiger. Just wanted to finish my drink away from all those people. Right? That's the best way to make sure your shit don't be pointing. Don't be Paul. What is it with you and this Kazuya Heihachi thing, anyway? Is that why you're here? No. Well, it's complicated. Complicated. Good. Complicated explains about every fighter here. This isn't the best place for you to be going around you know, asking questions was... about the Mishima. What? His man, you his man is always tall. Yeah. You? <laughs> He's supposed to be like teacher. a charity opponent. Marshall. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I just yeah. noticed that. That's it. Kazuki was a mean bastard. It wasn't enough for him to just win. He had to hurt. And he had to humiliate his opponent. It's no secret to anybody. That's also how he ran the Mishima Zaibatsu after he beat Heihachi. Okay, so Did yeah. Did you see Heihachi and Kazuya's fight? Jean's mama wanted Kazuya for his money. <laughs> Shit. I mean, but they they probably don't know the backstory. He probably had every right to beat his dad up like that. I know, but he was already possessed by the devil by this time. Everything you have. Oh shit, my bad, y'all. <laughs> Everything you have, I will now take from you. Everything you thought you were. It's mad. I have proven you are not. <laughs> Face causing you again. <laughs> <laughs> It's like nigga, I had to start over from the bottom on your ass. Alright. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Heihachi killed Kazuya. The guy's ruthless. Probably killed other men for less. But he's his own son. That's enough about their fights. We've got our own to worry about, right? Why do you gotta like it's a game menu? All right. <laughs> I need to speak to you. Later. Now. Did you kill my father? Pause. Yes. It is true. Kazuya was truly evil. His blood. Poisoned by the devil itself. I didn't understand at the time that something had changed inside Kazuya. Something evil. Now, after all these years, I have the answer. The devil gene. The what? The devil gene is a type of genetic abnormality. It gave Kazuya strength and power that was almost supernatural. The devil gene. Kazuya had always been rotten. He always had the potential for great evil. Yeah, I want to know why. It was his pure hatred for me. That awakened the devil gene inside of him. Because I am exactly. a shitty father. Right. Why are you showing this cheap ass uh, Windows XP effect? My mother never 
told me anything about him. The devil gene enhanced Kazuya's fighting ability. It gave him great power. But it also consumed him. He was completely overtaken by the evil force. Where did it come from? The origin of the devil gene remains a mystery to me. I do not possess it. But that kind of true fighting power is what speaks to Ogre. I have it. How do you know? I have been trying to unlock the mystery of Ogre for years. We believe that he only emerges when he can sense the most powerful of fighters. He must have sensed that in you. Mm. Mm. So that's why your mom got clapped. What happened before Ogre arrived that night? Had you been fighting? Yes. Uh, against some boys. That's why she told him don't. Oh. It's quite possible he sought to confront your power. To absorb it. My mother died because of me. You will honor her sacrifice by drawing out and confronting Ogre. Just walks off <laughs> after all that. It's like, until you confront this ogre, you ain't shit. Stand in front of this old screensaver I got. What else has Bosco Novich learned about the pendant? I haven't sent his latest findings. The report is on your desk. Oh, he got the bulldog too? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Is it going to be fighting with him? The cell. The doctor has assured me that the holding cell will contain ogre. <laughs> I will soon learn everything there is to know about its power. Do you believe Jin is strong enough to defeat it? It doesn't matter if he can beat him. I only need Kazama to lure Ogre into the open. We'll see. We will see, so guys. I'm saying that. Is that like a... I only need him to lure him into the open. Like, okay, then once he's out, I'll capture him and put him in the cell. Or is it, I don't care if my grandson dies or not. I just was using him. And I figured I'd teach him along the way. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Because if he's already aware that Jin has the double gene dormant within him, it would be nothing for him to just dispose of Jean like instantly because that's one thing that's been a bane of his existence. Having to deal with all these people who have the damn double gene in it, including his wife who he had to kill, you know, because I think she had it as well. I'm not sure how exactly everything works, but even Gene Pachi had something up in him, but I'm not sure if it was the double gen or not. I think it was the same thing, but I don't know. Harada and the people that work on Tekken, they tend to kind of change things around, and they also ditch a lot of characters that did have development within the Tekken franchise to focus more on the Mishima, so yeah, because shit, they brought in a fucking Street Fighter character to be a part of the Mishima, Mishima canon. Uh, Akuma, you know, so mm -hmm. anything can happen up in Tekken, uh, but overall, anything. I'm liking how they are portraying these characters in a more familiar way, like from the past though, as opposed to the more recent renditions like Paul, he isn't as goofy as he usually is. Right, yeah, it's the OG kind of feel versus, yeah yeah i appreciate that yeah because they do acknowledge the fact that paul came close to uh defeating kazuya you know paul for the longest time he had one of the strongest uh focused attacks or the finishing moves that punch mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying well, he cocked back and he Ugh! you know uh but now he's kind of been uh diluted a little bit and watered down but i do appreciate that you know they acknowledge him for being a top tier fighter you know Mm -hmm. They'll probably talk about him not being able to do the backflip kick later on. They'll preserve that for the second installments. But overall, I'll give this episode uh, A. I'll give it an A. Yeah. Uh, I'm still kind of confused why they added in so many characters. But then again, you know, these characters are just there to be there and fight. Not all of them have a lot of... Um, 
story input, I guess. You know, they're just going to be there to serve fan service, you know, to serve the fans. So, yeah, uh, but anyways, we're going to keep it moving and grooving the episode four, man, because this is getting interesting, and I want to see what Leroy going to do, you know, because he, he cocky up in this shit. He cocky up in the game, but, you know, he more chill. Golden boy. Right. <laughs> but uh, let's do it, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, well, his last name is Smith. Thank you for joining oh, yeah, Leroy Smith. The King of Iron Fist Tournament. Next match. Jeez, Kazama versus Leroy Smith. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> that dog is cute. I know, that motherfucker get on my nerves in the game. I hate Leroy Smith fighters. Mm -hmm. Why they got a uh, Rochi Dopo as a referee, y'all? I like how they got it, like how it be in the game when the right. other character's blocking. <laughs> He's sliding back You're and right. shit. Hey, there it go. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker is a parrying monster, I swear. Don't let the man get you. You lost this one. No! We're not done yet! Hey! Not gonna kill my nigga, man. I wanna know what Heihachi did to him. You lost this fight! I like that. Ooh. <laughs> My bad knee. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> My boy has been, uh, Promoted to Dan, you know what I'm saying? That was a uh, demotion match right there. They got a lot looking good up in this. Really? They're not showing it. Oh, come on, man. Hey. Oh, okay, so they might show theirs. It's just they're skipping through other people. Yeah. I mean, I kind of. Like I say, I thought this was a tournament show. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, it would have been cool. Too dangerous. She's literally a higher killer. That's what she does for a living. It's gonna be so disappointing for her when she's defeated by a high school kid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Right, you and Nina to see if you ever let yourself. She talking too much. That's how I know she's gonna lose. Right. It's like Nina going back to her you death by the degree days. Right? I used to love that game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like y'all think Gene started this X-ray shit. <laughs> Shit, Mortal Kombat didn't. I started this shit with all these x-rays. Dirty trick, Nima. We're here to fight, not play! I don't play with kids. Oh no, it's like, Sean, you might use uh, Nina's aggression against her. She's just a kid. Nigga, you a kid. What does that make you? Right? Right. <laughs> well, I like she being the little... Oh my god. Oh The difference between you and Xiao Yu. She don't take them too serious. Is that she spends more time thinking about strategy than she does feeling sorry for herself. Damn. Mm, wow. Well, he just been hitting this man with all kind of daggers. Right? Oh no! Xiao Yu might, she might do it! Season fighter, CSU, is letting her opponent tire herself. Makes sense. Yeah. And Nina's old. Not old, but. I was older. like, she ain't old. She was in Carl Jennings Stasis or sweet. Yeah, you're right. But she's older than her. Strategy. I always love how she had on heels. I did too. Yeah. Did that throw. <laughs> that shoulder is how Lee be landed. Right. Ooh. 
Ooh, they made that look epic. That's our finishing move right there, here. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> Don't snap it all the way! Ah! <laughs> Let's go! Oh! <laughs> Rage art! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Great! Okay. okay, we done lost money, but she uh, sure did that. Yeah. What do you want? Where's the lamp? I'll tell you how. Broken. <laughs> I'll be lucky to walk again, let alone fight on it. You'll have to adjust your fighting style to counter for it. Well, thank you for the words of it. Oh, that's why he got his cane. And since Did he have a cane up in this? Um, thugs, check in on the opponent. He Hines has a cane in the game? Yeah, he has a cane that he fights with. That's probably the wise Heihachi taking you on. Their story. Yeah. Why'd he work so hard to train you? It's personal. <laughs> yeah. Well, winning this tournament is personal for all of us. Yeah. I guess so. Hmm. <laughs> You know what the problem with you is, Kazama? Um, you've been swimming with sharks so long, you don't know the good guys from the bad guys. Let me tell you something about Heihachi Mishima. He's just using you like the Mishimas use everyone. Right. You ever lose real family, Kazama? I have. And I lost them all because of one man. The same man you've been training with to win this tournament. Clearly, he didn't train you how to act. Because you wouldn't be worried about my leg if he did. Mm. You are correct, Mr. Smith. <gasps> no. If Kazama learned anything from me, He'd be preparing for his next fight instead of wasting his time on you. <laughs> Go. I like how he came just to now, say that and turn around. I'm not finished, Heihachi. Not even close. I'll be back for you one day. Man, to be that. worthy of my time, one. you must do more than Lose a fight. Damn! <laughs> mm. Call to a Don't worry, sugar. We'll get him back. Mm. Like I got his dog with a chain on his name, man. Dog need to be signed with death row. Forgot your mother Snoop Dogg was up in Tekken. Would she have visited him later? To ask how he was feeling. Every time you fight, it is with ogre. Every opponent you defeat. No, because then you're gonna try to kill them all. Step closer to defeating ogre. To win King of Iron Fist, you must shed every he just ounce of weakness ogre. your mother has instilled and in you. Use his grandson to do it. It <laughs> is the only way to avenge her. Win your next fight and do not look back. <laughs> He's trying to turn this man into a. I don't even know, just a hardened individual. Yeah, that's what it seems like, huh? Mm -hmm. Don't break your friend's arm. Get Is that mark match. appearing on his arm now? <laughs> See? Oh, it's been there. That's been there for a while. They showed it when he first became, like, big. Oh. No holding back. No hard feelings. Right. I did want to hurt them. You lost the fight with yourself, Jin. The battle against your anger. No, you're better than that. Hmm. 
<laughs> Boy, I couldn't stand fighting this nigga. You should never take pleasure in the suffering of others. That is another one of those characters that all you have to do is press X and O. You must not only fight as a Mishima, but also win as Mishima. It's like, it's so crazy how you can be with your mom who is peaceful all your life and be with this raggedy nigga for four years and all that go out the window. Yeah. And hurt your own friend. There you go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> man, that nigga Jim, they going for everybody leg, man. Hey. Shit. When it takes forever for your granddad to even let you use your legs, why not? Oh shit, it's over. That's an unblockable right there. You ain't gonna block this shit. What you about to do? When you buy some beers, fair enough. Winner, Jin. Boy, hey, hey, Hachi would just been a crack the biggest smile if he had to kill that dude. Right, like that's my boy. It's like no, <laughs> never seen a more raggedy <laughs> granddad. He is pissed. Nigga triggered, bro. That is not what I'm teaching you. Okay, for real. I never want to see you two fight again. I, uh, I want a rematch. After the beer. <laughs> Stop it. Some beer. Have to get How old are they? Mm. I heard Paul Phoenix is fighting a grizzly bear next. A grizzly bear. My nigga Kuma. <laughs> Okay, that's it for that one. That's the end. That's the end, man. That was episode what? four, guys. Um, we enjoyed the hell out of it. At least I did. I know you. Of course, I enjoyed it. That gets the dash right there. Hell yeah! Right off the top, man. Nina and Xiao Yu, hands down, our favorite fight so far, yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. Um, the Leroy fight. It was good. It just. Yeah. It was so like one sided because like Leroy he was the aggressor but he wasn't really getting a lot of effectiveness. Yeah, in. he wasn't. Um this fight was good. It was, you know, it was good. I, I listen this fight was good. This was my second favorite in this episode. But then Nina versus Shao you fight. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> so that one, that alone gets an S and this whole episode gets an S. I was yeah happy to see that they actually did let, you know, Shao you win because yeah, like hey, how she pointed out, you know, she be focused more on strategy and she trying to tire her out and you know, you be worried about the wrong stuff. I'm like, Jin has a reason to be worried about that stuff. Though. He does. I mean, but can you blame the guy because you got two people's opinions or philosophies floating around in your head and exactly. you don't know which one to go with. You 
And it's like one of the last things his mom was telling him when they was at the table. She was like, you got to know when, you got to know the difference, you know, between when to, when to go off and when not to. So I feel like he's going to get that to that point. I mean, I think we know he does, but yeah. he's going to get to that point where he's like, okay, I'll, I'll find a median. But his granddad wants him to just be a ruthless bastard. Like, bruh, didn't you teach your own son to be that way? And he threw your dumb ass off a cliff. Right. Aren't you tired of people throwing you off of cliffs? Aren't you tired of throwing other people off of cliffs? Seriously. But no, you want somebody else who want to throw you off a cliff. Why? <laughs> yeah, man, that, that shit right there, it really bothers me. But I don't know, just seeing him constantly think about his mom and her words of how to be more merciful and stuff like that, it kind of makes me appreciate some of the endings that we got in the games. Like in Tekken 4, when he was about to kill Heiachi, when he was in his devil form, he looked at this little Buddhist statue or whatever, and he thought about his mom and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, and she was basically like his guardian angel, which helped him suppress those uh, demonic, uh, you know, those demonic traits and habits and stuff. So yeah, I gotta feel this one coming to play. Um, I don't know why I never really noticed. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because of the shading, but the, um, the the devil mark on his arm. You know, I saw that more up in this episode than I did in any other previous episodes. Uh, I wonder if that's going to really just activate, you know, because I, I got a feeling it is because we keep see him. We see him using like all the different electric moves and stuff like that. But his his aura is red and stuff like that. So maybe it's coming out slowly, but surely. We won't see. Yeah. I'm, I also got a feeling too, guys, that like at the end of this shit, we're going to probably see Kazuya or see like a red eye. Of course. I was thinking that, yeah. I was like, he going to come out eventually. Right. Or they might have some kind of mention of G Corporation because we know that's the science organization that brings Kazuya back. Mm. You know, I'm not sure if they used his... I think they restored his body or regenerated or probably cloned his body or something, but I don't know. But we uh, We going to see, though. Uh, um, that's going to do it for us today, guys. We hope you enjoyed this reaction. Two S's. Two of them things. But uh, yeah, if there's anything we may have missed or gotten misconstrued, by all means, do us the pleasure of providing the proper context in the comment section below and providing some of your tech and lore and experience that you got from all the different games and stuff. But this is your boy RBG, a.k.a. The Random Black Gamer. My lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen The Reactions. We'll catch you guys in the next reaction, too. Tekken Blood uh, Something Bloodline I was going to say Blood Vengeance Because everything got blood up in it Tekken Blood something Bloody roar <laughs> But no y'all I'll catch you guys next time